Hey everyone, welcome to a new Vlogmas video. I'm really loving Vlogmas so far. It's just a lot of fun to film videos every way. Every way, yeah right, every day. <laughs> and coming up with ideas and uh, I hope you like it too. Today I wanted to show you the cleaning products that I'm currently using. I've done a video like this in the past, but that is a long time ago. A few things have changed and there are new subscribers also. So that's why I wanted to talk about it again. I've got all my cleaning supplies on the table here. And I will start with the thing that I think I use the most. And that is this dish show by the brand Ecofair. I grew up with this. My mom always bought the Ecofair dish soap. And I really love it as well and it's eco-friendly so that's a great plus. Usually I buy the big bottles um, but I got this smaller one once uh, for free at the health food store. So that is why I'm using this one now. It's a very nice product, it just works really well. It has a very subtle lemon smell. It smells good but it's subtle. And uh, yeah. It does the job well, it smells good and it is eco-friendly. So this to me is what a great cleaning product looks like. Now I use it the most because I use this to clean my sink and I do that every day. So I take a abrasive sponge, which is this one. And then I put a little bit of this on it. And then with some water I clean the sink. We use the sink a lot obviously and I like to keep it clean and fresh. So that's why I'm cleaning it every day. Um, and I always use this one, but on occasion I will use this one as well. I need to use it up. It's an abrasive detergent um, from a supermarket that's very well known in the Netherlands, Albert Heijn. Uh, I don't know why I bought it, but I'm trying to use it up now. On occasion I will use the dish soap that I showed you. I was just kidding. On occasion I also use this as an all-purpose cleaner if I have a very light cleaning, little cleaning job in the house. Uh, maybe if I want to dust something. I don't always use detergent when I'm dusting but uh, sometimes I use a few drops of that. Now let's continue with the real all-purpose cleaner that I'm using. It is this one from the brand Ecofair, same brand as my dish soap. And uh, I buy the big bottles as you can see, 1.5 liters. And this one is lemongrass and ginger. And it just smells very fresh. I really love the scent of it. Uh, it's a subtle smell, but a very good one. So now on occasion I do buy other all-purpose cleaners like the one from the brand Clock. I do like that one as well. But I think this is my favorite at the moment. And I also sometimes use green soap. It's called Groene Zeep in Dutch. It's actually yellow soap, I think. Yeah, yellow, brownish. But it's a very natural product and you can use it as all-purpose cleaner. And you can also use it to remove stains from clothing. I don't know if it works for all stains. I want to test that sometime. But yeah, I also use this one sometimes as all-purpose cleaner. It's a bit gel-like, quite sticky. You have to dissolve it in hot water. It works well and it's natural, so I like it. For the floor, I also use sometimes the Ecofair all-purpose cleaner, but I also have a special floor cleaner, which is this one, it's the Profi Brights floor cleaner. And you only need a tiny amount of product. As you can see, I still have quite a bit left in the bottle. And this is also a natural brand. I got a lot of products from them a while ago when uh, we did a collab. And I'm still using their products. Also this one, it is the um, anti-grease one. Ontvetter. It's really very strong against grease. And I use this on the extraction hood in the kitchen because it has always fingerprints all over it. And uh, with the all-purpose cleaner or the dish soap or whatever or vinegar, I just can't remove it. So I always use the anti-grease. Now back to Ecofair. It's not a sponsored video or anything, but I just really love their products. Uh, I have a window cleaner from them as well. And this works really well on my kitchen on the white fronts. They are shiny and white, so all of the fingerprints and everything you see on it. So I clean it with this and then the dirt comes off very easily. I use this cloth with it and uh, they are just a great combination. This one is from the brand Yamako. It's a special window cloth as well. So I will show you these uh, cotton rags. I have a lot of them in different colors. The pink ones I use for the toilets and the other ones just 
or whatever. I really like them. These cotton ones are my favorite for everyday cleaning chores. So I have a big pile of them and I use them every day. Now here I have my mop. It is from the same brand as the glass cleaner cloth, the blue one that I showed you. And I've had this for years as well. The length is adjustable and you can uh, de-attach this part. And sometimes I connect my, I like the scrubber brush that I use for the bathroom floor to it. It's not from the same brand, but it happens to fit. So that's really nice. Now this is the cloth that goes with it for the floor. It's a green one. And there's also a white one. You can use that after you uh, mop the floor to dry the floor. And I don't always do that, but when I do, there is also a lot of dirt on this one. So after mopping your floor, it's of course a lot cleaner than it was, but you can make it even cleaner when you use something like this. And you could of course use a towel on your um, mopping device. I don't know how, what's the name for it. And then there's this yellow one. And you can use that to sweep the floor also with the same, this one. And that is very convenient because it is quite big. And if you're in a hurry, you just can go quickly through your room. The only downside is, of course, that just as with sweeping, you have to collect the crumbs. Then afterwards, it doesn't disappear like when you vacuum. And you have this one to clean when you are done. I called it a downside, but it's a small thing to do, of course. It's just different from vacuuming. Now my vacuum, I will link it in the description box. It's a cordless Samsung, which I love very much. It is just so fast and convenient, a cordless one. You don't have to plug in the cord first and you can just run up and down the house with it without having to worry about the cord. And it's just way easier to carry around the house. Now a little more about my sponges. I use um, always two sponges in my kitchen. One is for the sink. And the other one is for dishes. And I always make sure they are two different colors so I can easily tell them apart. I also have this metal sponge and I use it in my stainless steel pots and pans in my skillet, for example, when this is not enough to get the uh, food out. And then for gloves, I usually buy my gloves at Albert Heijn, the Dutch supermarket that I mentioned earlier. And uh, the yellow ones I always use for the toilet and the green ones for the other cleaning chores. Then I have this dusting sword to show you. I have a yellow cloth that fits on this, but I can't find it. I think it's in the laundry. Uh, it's also from the brand Jamaco, the same as my mop. And I really like it. It's very convenient for like um, when you have to dust near the ceiling or a light fixture or something like that. Now back to cleaning products. I also have this and it is called sodium carbonate. It's different from baking soda that is called sodium bicarbonate. And I use this for laundry stripping. It works really well. I also use it sometimes to unplug a drain. So when my sink is a little clogged, I put some of this. I put a little bit of this there and then I pour boiling water on top and it helps uh, against clogging. So it is a very versatile product and one that I always have in my home. Then here is my cleaning vinegar. I use this to clean the fridge. And uh, at the moment, I think that's the only thing I use it for. Some people use this in combination with baking soda because when you combine baking soda and vinegar, you get all this foam, but it's just not effective. The chemical components of both the vinegar and the baking soda, they react with each other, but for cleaning, it does absolutely nothing. You shouldn't combine them on its own. They are very nice cleaners, of course. Now for the dishwasher, I'm using this um, product. It's by the brand Clock. It's an eco-friendly brand and uh, we just happen to have this one now. I try different brands all the time. I cannot really tell a difference uh, when it comes to my dishes. They're clean in general, unless we load the dishwasher the wrong way, then it's not clean. But I don't think it has a lot to do with the product. Now, there is a difference, of course, in the product. Some claim to make your dishes more shiny and uh, some have this uh, foil around them, which should dissolve in your dishwasher. I always take it off. I never leave it on the tablet because it doesn't dissolve really well and it can get stuck in the engine of your dishwasher and cause a lot of trouble that way. So my mom 
talked to a dishwasher technician a while ago and he does repair dishwashers all the time and he says that is a big problem like a lot of the problems he comes across are because of the foil that says on the tablets and yeah apparently it all gets stuck in the engine so please remember to always take the foil off your dishwasher tablets now the last products that i'm showing you are these two they are for the toilets one is from the brand ecofair and this one is from the brand profit price i already had this one and then i got sent a lot of profit price products and uh, they're both natural products i really like them and i just um i have this one in my downstairs toilet and this one in the upstairs toilet so i both use them and they both smell very nice although this smells a little bit better than this one in my opinion but that is personal of course so this was it for today i hope you found it interesting or helpful or just fun to hear me talk about the cleaning products and uh yeah i will see you tomorrow with a new video bye